Yeah, there I am. <laughs> oh dear, oh dear. Yeah, so I'll just do a little bit of a a video for you here. It's uh, May, what, 3rd or 4th? 3rd. So I spent the day cutting up wood with the, uh, with the mill. And then I sharpened the saw and uh, stacked the wood over here. So it's getting a pretty good stack of wood there. Got a bunch of two by fours and a bunch of like two by fours look pretty good. Made birch two by fours for some of it, and these ones here are fir, or you know, whatever that softwood is. Then there's some more two by sixes, just three or four two by sixes, and a two by eight that'll likely cut that off because it's got all that live edge. It's a birch two by eight. Um, I don't know what I'll do with that yet, but it's there. And then, uh, so I did that, and then I sharpened the saw blade, took it off and sharpened it, and, and I'll show you all that. So, anyhow, there you go. Enjoy it. I hope, uh, well, we'll just keep on working on stuff. I've got uh, parts for the BMW coming tomorrow, so I'll go back and do some on that again. Hmm, there we go. Back and forth, back and forth. But I'm going to go this afternoon. It's raining. But I'll go out and I'm going to push some... Uh, some of the brush around out in the out in the out in the out back there. Make a pile for burning, so we can burn up. There's all lots of debris from Fiona that we're sort of slowly cleaning up. It's going to take a long time to get it all cleaned up, but it's coming along. So we'll work at it. Anyhow, that's all for here. See you soon. Bye for now. Yeah, so I had a bunch of uh, pressure treated 6x6 hanging around. Don't know where it came from, but it was here. And they were cut into length like that for whatever reason. They just so happened to fit underneath all these places here. So that makes it so I can use the long pole. Had to move that, that support flush with this to make it so I could use the long pole. So I got to try out a log and see if it's any better. Or any worse or any different it's just a little bit like you're uh, holding on just a bit higher here which is all right seems to be a good spot and i think uh, buster approves hey eh? so we'll just see what happens i see if i can uh, make a few two by sixes here or two by fours or something or other we'll make something here i forgot to turn it on we'll see about this one
Yeah, now I have to decide what to do with it. I think that uh, six and three quarters across and just about six up. That might be like a two by six size if I turn it the one way over. Wait a second, I get my little two by six out and check the test. Yeah, it's just a tiny bit over a 2x6, so I'll cut another sliver off it and then make 2x6s. But I wonder what it'll do for 2x4s. Wait a minute. Maybe I'll leave it up for 2x4s on it. Not a 2x4, because I can't seem to figure out how to do it. One there. But I think I could make 2x4s. If I turn it this way and cut it in half, that might work out all right. I'll do that. I'll make some two by four. That just about fits perfect. Okay, here I go. Yeah, I guess this came off the rails there somewhere. I'll see what I can do about setting it up a bit better this time. I'd be scared of that saw too if it was coming at me. Yeah, there's a little bit of ants down in this woods here, but the doggy's looking after them. Eat them up, dog. Eat them up. He likes them. So this one here, I so I put a board underneath to make sure that it's holding on to be high enough to wouldn't hit any metal. And then went ahead and saw it, but I, I started the wrong spot. So that's a two by four, sort of. Yeah, pretty close to two by four. Anyhow, that's uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, two by fours out of that board, plus a bunch of these, you know, normal boards. But I'll cut off the end where the ants were. If I, you know, I'll cut all that off of there and throw it in the woods. There, that's not bad. These are flying ants. Don't like them suckers. Yeah, yeah, so here I am back on the mill running. And I'll see about, I've got a birch log here, see how that works out. It's it up over behind that cottage over there. We'll just see, uh, see what I get out of it. I've taken off a couple of inches already. This is the first board that I left the live edge on it. It might be uh, 
you know, most really good, a two by six over there, or a one by six over down there, over here, like cleaning it up a bit. Actually, nice board. I think it's about 10 feet long. Anyhow, so I'll cut a couple more. See how it turns out. Yeah, now there's a 2x8 and a 1x something there. So now I've got it whittled down to a uh, size where I can really cut it in half here and turn on the sides and it'll make it right. There you go, that that turned out all right. So I did take off a couple of, this is before the last two by four, just to bring it down to the right width. And then there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine two by fours out of that birch log. <laughs> They're kind of, you know, what the hell. There's so much down timber here that I'm not too fussy about what I make into two by fours. There we go. Yeah, there he goes. Always turns the other way whenever I want to take a picture. Anyhow, I got the uh, sawmill helper out here today. And so that turned into some nice, nice two by fours. And I've sort of got it figured out how to cut them because I just use, like it's got the scale here. Six is supposed to be a two by four, but it's a little bit smaller than a two by four out of the store. Well, it's not necessarily supposed to be six quarters, so that'd be two inches exactly right or uh shit i don't know six four inch and a half exactly and these are just a little bit over an inch and a half it's like they're out of the store they're inch and five eighths right or yeah inch and five eighths so nine eighths scale what's that that's an inch and an eighth so an inch and a five eighths would be eight and eight eight quarters it'd be two inches right exactly so this to make it uh make it uh, so that this you get the two by four by the width of a two by four from the uh store which and these come out pretty nice you know they don't take for construction they'd be just right like that eh that's here's here's the store-bought two by four and so that's about the right, about the same there, eh? And I, I, I'm happy with that. So I'll just keep on measuring that way. It's just a little bit over a six. A little bit over six fours on this thing. So you just, you know, just whatever it takes to make it. Now, did I show you this? I picked up, uh, or these came by FedEx or whatever. And uh, a couple of, you know, pallet forks that just clamp on, they seem to work all right. I'll, you know, I'll, uh, I might weld a brace across the bottom of them so they, uh, they don't wobble back and forth like that and just go on as a pair. I'll see about, see, I'll see what happens here. But they lift plenty of weight and I'll be able to just drop one, one log at a time on there and carry two over and drop one on. So see what happens. I'll see if I can get one on there now. You want to watch? Well, you can watch. I'll see about put it right here. Be a minute before I get here. Enjoy the noise. Yeah, I guess that could have been a little bit more graceful. It might be easier. I can see better with the chains. So what I'll do is I'll move. I've got a pallet here that I've got with the boards on it that I've got cut. So I'll lift that up with the tongs with the thing later and then uh, take them off for getting logs. So anyhow, that's experiment number one done. 
So I'll get this one here cut up as soon as I find my helper here. Okay, that's all for now. Yeah, there, that one's off of there. And, uh, another bunch of 2x4s. Now, the, most of them are nice 2x4s, like that. That's normal. The last two were a little bit skinny and oblong there. But that's just a function of how much wood is left in the, uh, in the board, in the log. So it all came out pretty nice. We've got a few of these boards that are, you know, just one inch boards. And the uh, spruce, those are the guys are, the fur 2x4s are an awful lot lighter than the birch 2x4s. Anyway, pretty soon I'll, uh, what I gotta do is this one here, I'll get that on the mill, do that one up, and uh, then I'll move all the boards over there and maybe show you that. Then I have to take the saw blade off and sharpen it, so I'll show you that too. See how it goes. Yeah, there you go. That's a day's produce, right? That last little log made about four two by sixes and a and a one inch board, maybe. Uh, no, I think I stuck it over in that pile there. No goods. So, I'll lift this up with the uh, things, see if it'll lift it, and then I'll be able to carry it over there and stack them properly, stack them more easily than dragging them across one by one, and then I'll. Uh, Pull the, pull the uh, blade off this and sharpen it up, and I'll show you that. Yeah, there, I lifted that up. All right. See if I can, I'll just move them over there. I'll show you. I'll put the camera over here and see how we see how I make out. We're coming this way, and it's mostly two by fours on there. There's two by six. How's that? Yeah, there you get the idea. I'll get this on here and show you. Yeah, there we go. That's a pretty good haul for the day. <laughs> Those 2x6, 2x4 birch things are pretty heavy. And then that's like a 2x8 here, but I might just trim that down to a 2x6 later on. That's pretty simple to trim that. And then uh, everything else looks pretty good. The oddball boards I just stick out at the front here. They might be good for something, they might be good for nothing. Might be good for firewood. We'll see. Anyhow, now, we'll see if we can get rain off that. I'll put the uh, pallet back here. Well, that looks pretty good. Save all that little bit back and forth. So I'll put the pallet Yeah, there we go. So, recording, yep. I don't need the earmuffs on now. So this thing here just lifts up out of the way. There's a safety clip on, on that. I've already loosened off the uh, already hmm. anyway that's life hang on until I find the right wrench oh here it is right here 10 millimeter fell off there used to be a handle thing here but that didn't last more than a day like a little screwy thing so I put a little stainless steel nut in there Can't have that. That's fine. Put it right there is a good spot. 
Now, doggy, you gotta get out of the way because this will this will hurt you. It's hurt you before. Buster, get out of there. Hey, come on here. Come on this way. Here, let's go. Here, come on, get out of there. Don't. I got hit by the blade one other time just, you know, dicking around. For some reason, I'm not very good at this. Take off the top first. There we go. So I'll take it in and sharpen it in here. Out of the rain. That's a familiar sight, isn't it? That's a Volkswagen van. So now I need that sharpener there. I'll bring it over here somewhere. Hang on, I'll just get that done. Yeah, yeah, so this gizmo here is a chainsaw sharpening device. And I think I've shown you that before. So what I'll do is I'll take this guard off, then tip it down so it's got a 90 degree idea to it. And then I'll show you how I do that. I'll wrap up the, the uh, camera on a thumb thing to watch. Uh, that's not a bad view there, eh? So, I'll just see what we get out of it. Anyhow. So this thing here, oops, I need something to hold it tight there, so that's it. I'll get that. Just to hold it from keeps it from flopping around. And look up for this doggy. It's about 150 feet. So they feel pretty sharp now. Yeah. A couple of them there. These ones here don't feel as sharp as they should be. But next time I sharpen it, I'll do a better job. So all you do is just, I don't know if you can see this. Like, I'll see if I can turn it this way. Maybe get some light on it here. Just take the back of the, the back of the blade, back of the uh, tooth off it. A little bit of the back of the tooth off it. Yeah, that's plenty sharp. And that makes it so it cuts through like butter again. There now, I'll see if I can uh, get the blade back on there. First off, I'll get this stuff out of the way. Yep. 
Jackie Jack. Oh, there. Did a whole bunch of talking with nothing going on. Wasn't recording. So there, here. I was going to give you a good buster report about everything out here. I went down to the beach earlier today and uh, the beach was pretty dreary. So anyhow, here I am out in the backyard chasing after Buster. Now he's gone off underneath the woods there. So not much of a buster report, but he is here somewhere. Don't know where. So we'll uh, carry on and I'll see you next time. Bye for now. Yeah, there's, there's Buster. So we can have a little bit of a Buster report if he'd stick around for more than a second. But he's a busy guy, got a lot of stuff to check out and raining, so he smells like a wet dog. So anyhow, there you go. See you next time. Bye for now.